Yeah. How, how can McCain do better or different in cultivating all those countries? Well, you know, just start with uh, a clear sense that we understand what has what has troubled uh, everyone. And by the way, I mean, in fairness to the Bush administration, uh, you know, since Iraq, they've tried to repair the damage. And I think that, you know, Condi Rice has been out to Europe a lot and, uh, and, and relations. I live in Europe and I can say relations with the allies are better. Uh, but I think we need to go beyond that. And, and I think we also need to start talking about linking up uh, allies in different regions. And this is another part of, uh, of uh, Senator McCain's program. He talks about a league of democracies where it wouldn't just be our relations with Germany and England and France, but it would also include our relations with Japan and with India, with Brazil. Brazil and some of these countries that don't get as much attention in, in the world. But it is definitely, and there's, the other concept is that's important, is the idea of America as an international good citizen. And that has to do with things like, are we going to be a positive force on climate change? Are we going to shut down Guantanamo and bring ourselves in line with what the civilized community thinks is appropriate on torture? Uh, I think that, that that's the other thing that John McCain wants to do. And the world, I can tell you, living outside America, wants to see America as an international good citizen again. Does he advocate shutting down Guantanamo? Do you? Uh, yes. In fact, he says many times and has said in Europe, uh, where it is well received, that he would shut down Guantanamo on his first day in office. So uh, I think that that has clearly been a tremendous stain on the American character and damaged us in terms of our ability to uh, persuade others to follow us. Uh, this was when I was going to play the clip that we mistakenly played at, at the beginning about McCain, with McCain saying in response to a question that we would stay in Iraq for 100 years if necessary. He cited the model of the troops in in uh, South Korea all these years. Explain, as you understand it, what he means by that, because that scares a lot of people who think that he would just continue this, you know, ill-begotten policy. Well, look, I, the, the other thing that he said, which is which you could also quote, is that he doesn't want to keep American troops in Iraq a minute longer than is absolutely necessary. But that doesn't mean anything until you define what necessary is. Well, and, and it's interesting if you look at both what Barack Obama is saying and what John McCain is saying, I, I'm not sure, you know, there'll be a difference. And I think that I think that Obama's approach might be more reckless. But both of them talk about, I mean, Barack Obama talks about leaving a force in place to deal with terrorists, et etc. et cetera. Et cetera. I mean, the question is, if you needed to have a residual number of American troops that were not in combat, that were that were there mostly as a kind of border watch, I mean, we've had troops in all kinds of countries. I'm sure Americans don't even know they're there now uh, for decades uh, in, on, the, on the, in the Sinai Peninsula, for instance, um, as a means of providing reassurance. And so I don't think that anybody would really object to that. The key thing is to get America out of a combat role. And I think that, that Senator McCain is, wants to do that as soon as it is responsible and possible. And his definition of that may be different than Barack Obama's definition right. of and that. Right. And there are risks right. on either side. Absolutely. Right? There are risks of getting out too early right. if it descends into some kind of chaos and with a big al-Qaeda base right. that becomes threatening to exactly. the United States and to the region. But there are risks of staying in too long of course. and continuing to deplete the military. Yeah. Morning Edition had a feature this morning about a 56-year-old Vietnam veteran yeah. who they just allowed yeah. to enlist yeah. because they're short yeah. and, you know, and, and, and U.S. continuing to be seen as an occupier yeah. and everything right. else. Right. Look, and I, and, and, and I think Senator McCain's aware of all those problems. And, and you know, to his credit... He didn't start complaining about the way the Bush administration was running this war a year ago or two years ago. He started complaining about it three months, within three months after the intervention in, in 2003, that there weren't enough troops, that they didn't do what they needed to do, uh, which I think would have gotten us out of there faster if they had done that earlier. There's been a lot of mistakes. I think people would have to decide whether they trust John McCain to know what went wrong. And to, you, you're exactly right. You, somebody's going to have to make those very difficult judgments. So the question is, who do you think is best equipped to make those judgments?